Are you noticing any vibrating or vibrating sound coming from your heating and air system? In today's video, I wanna talk about some of the reasons you may be feeling or hearing that, and maybe some things that you, as a homeowner, might be able to do to find that solution. I will say, a lot of these problems that we're gonna go over, you may wanna actually get a pro involved to resolve that issue, but at least with some of these, you might know if you're being a take advantage of or not. You'll be able to see the problem just like they can. Why are you having vibrations coming from your heating and air system? Let's dive into this. Number one, if you have a fan wheel that is bent, that is misshapen, that has come loose, you know, some of them I've even seen where the inner part of the entire fan wheel itself has kind of either separated or cracked, any sort of problems with that fan wheel can cause vibrations in that heating and air system. In fact, I've seen some of them so bad that they start beating and banging up against the housing. Some of them get so bad that they actually get up against the housing and come to a screeching halt, which then can burn up your indoor fan motor. Any problems with that fan wheel, the housing, anything that's holding all of that together, any of that can cause vibrations. We've had tons of customers in the past that they have vibrating issues, replacing the motor and the fan wheel, takes care of it, never hear from them again, in a good way, and that is their fix. Number two, your inducer fan. And this has nothing to do with the indoor fan motor. If you have some sort of a gas burning appliance, a lot of those have something called an inducer fan. And inducer fans, if they get out of whack, if they get any water in there, if they get kind of bent as well, if there's any sort of malfunction going on with those, they can kind of cause some noises, vibrations, all kinds of things like that. They're essentially a whole nother motor in that system. Now they have nothing to do with the airflow going through your system. They have more to do with the gases that need to be vented out of the furnace itself, but that inducer fan is just like any other motor. It can have issues that can cause vibrations just like any other. Number three, you've got a ductwork issue. Some sort of duct issue can cause vibrations. We've had customers call us and say, not only is it vibrating a little bit, the ductwork itself can kind of almost bang in and out as it's expanding and contracting, depending on whether or not the airflow is being pulled through there. There are different types of ductwork issues that could be causing the vibrating. And sometimes the system itself, it literally does have air being pushed through there. And you've got to have ductwork that's sized properly and installed properly to be able to handle all of that. I can't speak for all parts of the country, but I can tell you that here in Virginia, it's not uncommon for us to see everyday ductwork that's undersized and you're choking that system for air, literally. Different types of duct issues can cause vibrations and that's something else you can watch out for. Number four, something's dirty. A dirty air filter or a dirty evaporator coil, a dirty fan wheel, dirty ductwork, right? We already talked about duct issues, but all these things, if they get dirty, especially like that fan wheel, for example, if the dirt's not properly balanced on that fan wheel, it can cause it to vibrate more than it normally would. Any sort of airflow issues with that system or something needing to be maintained better can also cause vibrations. We've had customers that we went out and did a proper maintenance, tune-up, cleaning, whatever you wanted to call it, have actually called us back and said, wow, I can't remember a time that my system has ran this quiet. Things getting dirty in there and air having to be pulled through areas or just things starving for air can cause vibrations in that system. And then finally, number five, something has come loose or has been installed in a way, let's be honest, these systems are going to vibrate a little bit, right? With moving components in there, the system might develop some sort of movement or vibration, right? When installers are not keeping that in mind, it can cause you to be disturbed by the vibrations. When in reality, if the systems were installed properly, keeping things in mind like, let's make sure that furnace isn't right up against that joist, or let's make sure that it's hung in a manner that it has anti-vibration technology, or maybe some rubber feet under that furnace. Whatever you've got to do, keeping in mind that things do vibrate. Air handlers and furnaces both have 
moving components going on in there and keeping that in mind when it's installed or if something's come loose maybe it was kept in mind when it was installed but something came loose maybe those rubber feet have now worn through or popped out maybe that strap that was holding it up has come loose and now the strain on the ductwork is causing that sound you're hearing I, you know there's all kinds of scenarios but ultimately making sure it's installed right and is staying the way it was installed correctly all play a role in this as well. So that's it. That's my five. Let me know your thoughts. Did I miss one? Have you had vibrating issues with your heating and air system and we didn't cover it in this video? I'd love to hear about that down in the comments. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I go over five reasons I think fall is the best season for you to be spending money on your heating and air system. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.